Hello, hello, hello lovelies. I'm sorry it's such a late one today. It has been such a busy day and it is so warm out there. Absolutely lovely. So we've just been out for our evening dog walks. So continuing with the theme, I'm going to chat to you about minerals. So you'll probably pick up on this one um, tomorrow. But continuing with the theme, we're going to talk about potassium. So we've talked about calcium and magnesium already. We talked about sodium yesterday. Today, we're going to talk about potassium. Now, sodium and potassium regulate one another. They work in partnership. So when one goes up, the other one eventually will, will come down. But potassium is actually really important because 99% of potassium is actually inside of your cells. So one of the few ways that you can test for that is with a hair tissue mineral analysis which is why I promote it. You can't find it in a blood test. Um, it is our primary solvent. So I mentioned yesterday that sodium was a solvent. This is another one that actually helps to keep our minerals in a fluid form so that they're easily transportable in between ourselves and for nutrients. Or you can just see Raven in the background there. Um, it regulates our blood pressure as well. So along with sodium, it works to um, regulate our fluid balance, our pH and our blood pressure. And it influences your cell membrane permeability. So 99% of your potassium is on the inside. In order for things to happen, like muscle contractions and things like that, we need to transfer that across the cell membrane through our voltage gated calcium channels and um, change the, the balance slightly to get ionic flow going. Um, it sensitizes our cells to thyroid hormone as well. So if you are noticing the symptoms of like issues with your thyroid, so a co really common one, particularly in women, is cold hands and feet all of the time and tiredness and maybe blood sugar fluctuations as well. Now, this can be all to do with low magnesium levels. And it's something that unfortunately the doctors um, in the UK don't test for um, on a, a screening panel as mandatory. So if you think that this is the case and you've had your tests from the GP, I suggest you get a thyroid screening panel done. Make sure that you get your reverse T3 as well as T3, T4 and all the rest. And also a hair tissue mineral analysis, because if your potassium is low, then that could be the difference between being on medication and not, essentially. Um, it's also responsible for nerve conduction in the heart as well. So we mentioned that um, magnesium is critical for heart function. So is potassium, because if we think 99% is in our cells, the heart's actually a muscle. So it needs that potassium in order to make the contractions um, for, our, for our heart to function. And it also helps to decrease our heart rate and dilate our arteries. So particularly on days like today, when it's really, really warm, we'll be getting... Um, We'll be using a lot of potassium because we'll want our arteries dilated in order to get the blood to the skin so that um, we can evaporate that sweat and cool ourselves down a little bit. A deficiency is definitely more common than an excess. So if you've got any allergies, you can be deficient in potassium because, again, it's all to do with cellular function. Constipation, fatigue and irregular heart rate. Um, low blood, blood sugar is definitely to do with potassium. Low um blood pressure and low blood sugar, um, muscular weaknesses, skin problems, water retention. And I've mentioned before about being a slow oxidizer. That just means that you have a slow oxidative rate, a slow metabolism, which is 90% of the population. Not necessarily a bad thing, but it means that you're likely to have a deficiency there. An excess um, can cause things like low mood and depression, high blood sugars, um, muscle spasms and muscle weakness. And you're likely to be a fast oxidizer, so a fast metabolism. So a lot of the, the fast oxidizers that I come across, they'll be quite highly strung people. They will be majority type A personality, real go-getters pushing through all the time. And it actually creates a stress response, which helps us to burn through things like magnesium and potassium really quickly. Um, it's antagonists, so things that will deplete it if it's out of balance are calcium, copper, sodium, vitamin D, B12 and B1. And things that support it to get it into balance are magnesium, sodium, calcium, iron, zinc, potassium, uh, sorry, phosphorus, manganese and B6. 
And supplement wise, if you're going to supplement with potassium, go for the glycinate, gluconate or carbonate versions. Um, but it's best to get that from food and the best form of potassium, bananas. Really, really high in potassium. Um, don't eat too many of them because they can cause digestive complaints and so on. But it's the best way to get your potassium in. So again, if you found this useful or you've, you've gained any information from it, please give me some hearts and likes. And if you've got any questions, add them to the comments. So go and enjoy the rest of your Thursday evening and I will see you tomorrow for copper. Bye.